Thank you for joining us here at HockeyUs.com. Don't forget to visit our website, HockeyUs.com. Become a member, log on today, and uh, help us rate the products that you're going to see uh, uh, shown here and other products that we have listed on our website. Uh, you can't do that unless you become a member of HockeyUs.com. Uh, the skate that we're going to be showing you today is the Vector V10 version. This skate was actually taken over um, by the U Plus series. Uh, they had made some uh, some changes uh, to the skate, but uh, uh, people out there that have been uh, members, members of the uh, of the Hockey House community have asked us to view certain items and that's what we're doing, even items that they don't make anymore, um, you know, that you'd like to see. Uh, we still will rate them for you, we'll still show them to you as long as we can get our hands on them. Uh, I'm going to start off first off with the exterior of the uh, product here. This is the almost the same material that's on the U Plus skate. It is called the chain mesh, that uh, material that they have on the outside on the quarter package here. See if I can zoom in a little better here for you, if you can get a better idea. Um, it almost looks like a Kodora nylon that's on there. Uh, this basically this piece here is a another material that they have uh, it's called wear force and that's basic basically a, um, a screened rubberized portion of the chain mesh that they put on there and how that actually helps uh, reduce skate cuts abrasions and also the absorption of water uh, so this way uh, you know it doesn't um, doesn't get cut up doesn't absorb a lot of moisture and uh, rot down in here because this there this piece here makes contact with the toe cap and the toe cap uh, won't let it breathe in here so you get a lot of rot in there sometimes that's when you get a lot of rivets uh, underneath here that that kind of uh, you know if you don't take good care of your skates and air them out that's the reason why they turn uh, you know rusty and fall apart and everything um, your toe cap that you have on here is your basic v10 toe cap uh, you know with the silver piping that they have on here uh, this skate was actually designed by Ovechkin. Uh, this was his uh, his skate. Uh, CCM Reebok went to him and asked him to uh, you know design a skate. What it would what would it look like? And he took the skate basically off of the V10, uh, the regular V10 that they had at that point, and uh, just chromed it up a little bit in uh, in this area here. Uh, you know they had uh, on some of the other models like the V8 and all, I believe it was like a grayish material. And then he put um, he put the U. This is actually where they got the the. Um, the idea for the U, if you look this way, uh, it looks like a U, and that's how they got the idea to make it the U plus skate. Uh, and then your piping that you have that goes around here on the quarter. See if I can move it in a little clearer. On the on the regular V10, uh, they had that piping that was in here, and um, that material used to used to fray, uh, dry rot, and uh, wouldn't hold up really really well. The interior of the skate, pretty much like every CCM line now has done that Ultima Dry. Same thing with the footbed. Uh, it does have the uh, locking mechanism here on the skate on a th on the fourth eyelet down you know you pop it over pop it out to uh, to get it to unlock for you same thing with the uh, with the holder it is the e pro holder with your scalloped performance light stainless steel uh, runner which is the stainless steel piece that's on here your two bolt system your accessibility to the blade to uh, to go ahead and replace that uh, this skate here retail I believe for right around uh, 480 bucks and uh, I'll rate this product for you this is the CCM v10 this is a size 10 and a half that we're showing you today. It's rated at 991 grams, and you can see that uh, that picture that we have on our website shows you the exact uh, weight that we have. Uh, this way, you know that we've that we've measured or the, we've weighed this for you at 991 grams at a size 10 and a half. As far as boot structure goes, I'm going to give this a three. Uh, this skate did have some moldability problems. Uh, people complaining that uh, you know usually two or three heats with this would get it to mold your foot, uh, and after that, there was no further problem as far as with fitting. Uh, comfort, uh, I'll give this a four. Uh, this was a very comfortable skate. My son wore this skate here and really did like it. This was one of the better skates that he said that he had until he started wearing the, uh, the U Plus skate. Uh, so I'm going to give the Comfort four. Durability, I'll give it a four. They did still have some problems with this material here fraying. Uh, your back tenon guard that they had back here uh, sometimes would break. On, on For kids that take it off by the tenon guard, it would break. Uh, and that's been sometimes an ongoing problem for a lot of the CCM products. Uh, performance, I'll give it a four uh, because a lot of people did did really like this skate. Uh, as far as the runner and holder, I'll give it a five. I really like the uh, E Pro holder that's on here, the chrome accents. Uh, not a lot of problems with the holder breaking. Sometimes in the uh, and the uh, runner here, the scallop part would break uh, because of the scallops on there. So I recommend that if that happens to you, just get the solid stainless steel. Don't get perforated stainless steel. Looks visibil visibility looks wise, I would give this a five. Um, I really do like the yellow wax laces on here, along with the chrome 
on the skate here. As you've seen in, in uh, other videos, I'm not a real big chrome uh, lover as far as on sticks and skates, but uh, this skate here just um, just has that look. I don't know. I, I really do like the, the look of this one, so I'm going to give it a five. Weight, I will give it a four. It's not a super heavy skate. It's not a super light skate. kind of falls right in the middle, uh, so I'll give it a four on that. Again, this is the uh, CCM Vector V10 series, the Ovechkin version, seen here at HockeyUs.com.